Hello, Spire. So first of all, let me start with saying that GoPro still sucks. I'm not sure about the optics and the recording quality, how it stands to other cameras at the moment the same format but software is just horrible and as a software engineer if this is me to no end anyway so Speyer a Germany is a very important city and quite a beautiful one as well just look at this everything about it even the birds which fly there that's a sculpture bird it's just amazing look at this so nice this is a protestant church as far as I understood it's a commemorative church of the Diet of Speyer. It's something that very much defined the Protestantism movement or something. Oh, those birds are not the part of the ensemble. Those are just to scare other birds away, I think. Anyway, so, uh, this is nice. And the city is full of churches, full of, uh, you know, religious stuff, historical religious stuff, and just religious stuff. And, uh, right now I'll be walking towards the Jewish courtyard or something. says that all Shapiro's you notice the name of this channel come from Shapiro there's even a theory that the name Shapiro itself or its ancient name Spira comes from something Jewish like you know the Sapphire which was a sacred stone on the priest's breastplate or whatever anyway this is very important place for German history and for Russian of Jewish history So maybe I'll just go and have a quick spin instead of going to the actual Jewish Museum, Shapiro Museum or something, Shapiro Museum. It, as far as I understood from the description, it has very little stuff. So. I think it's quite, it's quite safe to skip it. On the other hand, the Christian stuff is plentiful and abundant here. The vibe is pretty Christian. <laughs> Except that... Uh, Except 
but some people are from the Middle East or from East in general. So and many German people here are not quite happy with that. But that's their problem I guess. I think that once the pace is out of the queue, it's pretty hard, I say, impractical to get it back in. So, the new world is the next one. And, uh, Spire will become something of a museum. A museum of uh, Germanic tribes fighting the Romans. And Jewish people have special status here. And then before, like, enjoying couple of centuries or something have a good life before being you know good giving off what don't like everywhere else so There are several incompatibilities between Eastern people and German people. German people are community oriented and hard working and they appreciate a good production more than personal wealth or something. That's their strength. There's little, you know, posh stuff or uh, stuff that's too expensive even in this kind of city. Yeah, elegant, pretty stuff, but not too much, you know, treasures or um, anything too artsy or too. Uh, excessive. Uh, the city is quite popular with local tourism uh, and there are, there are quite few international Tourists, but most of the tourism is internal. I mean, German people are the most tourists around here. While we walk down the street, let me just show um, had a couple of difficulties with my travels on a personal level. I didn't think it would be easy, and it isn't. Um, the riding itself is quite tough. After three days of riding, uh, various parts of my body hurt and tomorrow is another three-day marathon of around 300 kilometers to city of Kassel so just to be clear um, I 
went from Geneva to Zurich in my first three-day trip, three-day three bicycle trip. Then from Zurich here I got another three-day trip. And my next destination is Castle. It's another interesting city north of here, like around 300 kilometers north from here. And I'm going through Frankfurt on Main. And I will be passing through some town called Marburg. Somehow this name sounds familiar maybe it is familiar maybe it's just you know a familiar sounding name so uh, and then I'll reach castle hopefully um, my bike uh, had different breakdowns um, I used a spare wheel I have a Road wheel said that I used a spare wheel to fix it, but that's the last spare part that I have. If uh, it breaks once again, I will have no. I don't think that I have an opportunity to fix it again. Anyway, let's hope it doesn't break and I'll reach Castle and then hopefully Berlin. Berlin is another three-day trip from Kassel, which I planned for the week, uh, for the next week, I mean not this week. All right. So this is quite typical of a really well-kept German city or German town, I should say, because it's not that big. I'm not sure if it counts for a city. I think it does because um, towns are much smaller. It's a small city. Towns are much smaller in Germany. A town can be as small as uh, several tens of houses and a couple of streets. So this is not particularly, you know, not excessively clean or not excessively polished. It's just nice. to the Rhine River just because I had not much time for that so about the time um, I hope my time management improves and uh, the pressure that I'm in with this travel because right now it's not particularly great I mean, I have to improve my riding style, my touring, my navigation. So I have to improve everything. And I'm not certain at all that it can be improved or it will be improved. But I will try anyway. So just for the record, um, when within the trip I mean those one night layovers that I have with my three day trips there's nothing much to tell about them you're just exhausted you'll feel of endorphins and you did do things quite automatically and quite uh, 
well devoid of feelings because you're on the you know tight schedule and under the road pressure and then you arrive after the trip and you enter this vicious cycle of uh, getting up late not doing too much physical exercise which is obviously a problem you should absolutely do physical exercise after intense physical activity despite the fact that you feel exhausted and your body wants to shut down right now I haven't been successful in overcoming that so I wake up late I don't exercise and I eat uh, in large quantities which is not great because uh, well you know it's not that I eat uh, excessively I just should mm, I should eat just more often and be more active in between those meals because after you eat a big meal you just after you eat a big meal you can hardly move and you take your time to rest and it leaves you not that satisfied in the end by the time you rested soon enough you wouldn't go there Let's go down here and see what's there. So, we should eat more often, which is of course challenging when you're traveling, when you don't have proper, you know, kitchen with all the stuff. And um, well, you should think of which products you buy and what to prepare for them in a quick manner with limited kitchen wear and stuff anyway so um, at least the sleep is okay because when you do quite a bit of physical exercise the sleep is fine and your psyche is kind of okay so I hope I will get it even better with proper eating and mm, exercise routines and on a personal note, on a more personal note, I had some neck pains, which are mostly gone, but uh, I will definitely need to pay more attention to my upper spine and do even more stretches while traveling and do that exercise when I'm not. Yeah, I haven't seen anything interesting down the Judengasse. Well, the Jews have been have been properly expulsed from here. Let's show what that means. What those signs mean on the door?
of the reasons for my weak voice now is exactly that that I ate too much at my last meal and the stomach is pressing on my chest and there was not too much nutrition in that meal so as soon as I'm rested or walked I'll be probably hungry again and I hope I will visit a single Irish pub too. I wonder what this is it's probably some kind of a clock symbolic shit As I was saying, Germans are even more communal institutional, right? So I would say that Germans are even more communal than other civilized people that I know. I mean, they are definitely family values. They are family oriented, but. The community is even more important to them, uh, so a person like myself would be regarded as sick, socially sick. There's rarely singles in any sense, in any sense of the word here. Uh, there's groups of people, couples. I mean, pairs, friends, at the very least. I mean, pair of people is something intimate already. The Eastern people that arrive here through all the kind of refugee problems, programs, and other ways of immigration are more family or extended family oriented. I think they are less communal, but they are pushed to their communities by the total alien environment that they are now in. Oh look, a red plane! Hooray! for traditional German stuff I think this is as posh as it gets and it looks good to me I haven't been inside and again feeling a bit freakish a bit more lonely than usual in this community oriented environment but I've got used to this and I will probably be okay how does all this compare to Switzerland? After all, there are very similar people speaking practically the same language 
not exactly the same but very close I'm not sure I'm not sure if the differences that I see between those German-speaking Swiss and those southern, southern, southwestern Germans are due to the fact that they belong to different state or that just the recent history was very different for them including the arrival of those mixed peoples which is the might be seen as the price that they pay for trying to elevate themselves above other people a little more than no, not too little but uh, about a century ago already alright so it will not be that long of a walk I'm coming back to the place that I'm staying um, my special way of traveling seems to work which means I'm sending my stuff, my suitcases a couple of suitcases of all my life's belongings at the moment I'm sending them by mail it's not cheap but it's not I should have brought another battery because it appears that GoPro gets excessively hot uh, and refuses to work from time to time when shooting at this high resolution so It becomes very hot, so changing for a cooler battery on the spot might solve, might work around that problem a little bit. Uh, in general, I'm trying. I've been encountering all kinds of problems, and I've been trying to get more, you know, safe better safe than sorry solutions or whip rounds I'm very glad that I brought my second wheel set for instance what those symbols on those doors mean I'm sure they have some special meaning not just municipality stuff I'm probably religious or whatever but then again I wonder if that Juden Gasse that I passed had any Juden families living there so I would guess that so symbol has something to do with some religious traditions or whatever anyway uh, more spare parts thinking of more expecting more problems will get you further on your travels will get me further for sure It was also impressive that this is also the way I rode into the city when you're riding through you know not very noticeable or interesting neighborhood and little towns and just fields and other kind of regular stuff and then you arrive at night and something like this it was quite impressive Let's see what this man's stick is about. I have no idea. Some 
Edition var böyle görebileceğiz şu. Kaine Trin Cluster. Yes. Another change from Switzerland. There's not too many drinking water fountains. Because this is definitely a less comfortable country that Switzerland is. Because the idea you shouldn't be too comfortable. You should work and plan ahead and think for yourself, contribute to community and you know, be in. And if, if you're not in, um, well, it's your problem. You're on your own. At the very best, you're on your own. So this is where Shapiro comes from. This is the origin or at least a visible origin of the name of this channel. just arrived here probably because of, of all of the endorphins of the three-day bike trip I was so on top to you know let me do something here and organize something Shapiro here now I'm calm I'm not sure what this city needs and to be honest I don't care too much It's just a fun thing to do, it's not anything, you know, to be seriously pursued. The new world, as I see it, as I personally see it, is personal, person-centered. Let's see if it works out. Because a big organizations from you know powerful states to big corporates are passé. 
This is something that will be phased out. It is harmful. And no longer necessary. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe many people will just die and we will all come a full round again. Meaning we'll We'll go through the stupidity and stuff and the killing stuff and then stupidity again and primitive life and then to some sort of prosperity. We'll see. In my opinion, if I live my natural life to my natural end, I will see a good glimpse of that new world. that this form of democracy and society organization is transitory. It works on some you know energy gradient coming down from centralized central centric forms of government form of resources management it must it will fastly evolve into something else I believe it will be some some sort of to person based organization. We'll have just one more circle. I hope the camera doesn't overheat again. This is of course something nice about European summer that you get these cloudy days and you get some rain too. And there's some meaning to this glass dome.
so some people might say that the Germans don't know don't quite know how to enjoy their lives the food is eh the city is um, fine but there is nothing too pleasant too special too comfortable too pretty or otherwise too anything nothing that will get your heart go boom or something like that maybe they just try to enjoy the life as a whole without too many ups and downs and the emotions are mostly left for the church or God or whatever that's my take on the German mentality on the German community mentality or societal mentality but now it's being dissolved I mean you can't quite feel it in a city in a small city like this but this mix in of other cultures and uh, burdening the, this community with uh, problems both inside and outside well it will not fall it will not stand it will change and not in a Swiss direction it will become something else like with most of the communities in the new times that are coming that are coming from the paste that goes out of the tube with the post-colonial, post-imperial and then post-democratic world another thing not much is made in Spire I guess I'm not sure what people actually produce here There is quite a bit of agriculture around those places. I mean, everywhere in Europe. It's either agriculture or park. There's no wilderness. Cities, small cities, towns, small towns, almost no villages. Quite a bit of agriculture. I mean, there are farms and uh, there are separate houses, not proper villages. So, where else? I haven't seen any industry here. But, I guess somewhere there is some industry. This is Germany after all. I have deepest respect for industry 
das Handwerk. Okay, this is the other side of the church. I'm still wondering one, why one of the crosses has a rooster on top of it. Not sure it has any meaning, just 